Next, we're going to use those initial topics you came up with to find the keywords related to them that you might want to go after. The first thing you're going to have to do, if you haven't already, is sign up for Ahrefs at ahrefs.com. There should be a link right below the video, too. It does cost money, uh, but they offer a free trial, and I highly recommend this tool. I don't get any kickback or anything. It's just the best one that I've found for being able to do this kind of research and get good data. There are others you can use, uh, kwfinder.com and semrush, or even just Google's AdWords tool. But for these tutorials, I am gonna use Ahrefs because it is the best one that I found. So we'll hop in, I'll show you how to do all this in a second. But basically what we're gonna do is take those initial 10 topics or so, we're gonna plug them each into Ahrefs and see all of the keywords related to them that we might wanna go after. And then we're gonna take those and drop them into our spreadsheet to start building our list of potential topics. Let's go do that now. For each of these high level topics, we're gonna go into Ahrefs and see all of the subjects related to it that we might wanna write about. And we're gonna put them here in our second tab called related keywords. So we can go ahead and open up Ahrefs. And then we're gonna to go to Keyword Explorer. And in the Keyword Explorer, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put the broadest possible version of the topic that I wanna write about, which in this case is T. And then I'll hit search. This is gonna tell me how hard it would be to rank for the word T which is probably gonna be extremely difficult and not something that we wanna go after. Uh, I generally recommend not going after the high difficulty keywords until much later in the game. What we're more interested in here are these other related sections for having the same terms and for also rank four. So we'll let everything load for a sec. Okay, and as you can see, T did come up, but it has a difficulty rating of 87, which is really high. We don't wanna go after that right now. What we do wanna look at are these keywords that have the same terms as T and that also rank for. So let's start with having the same terms. We'll click view all. And these are all of the search terms that have the word T in them in any form. Now, some of these are obviously not very related to us like Boston Tea Party or T. Leone, but some of them obviously are. So we have green tea down here, we have oolong tea, we have matcha tea, chamomile tea. These ones are all potential targets for ranking. Now, what I'm gonna recommend is that you wanna filter this a little bit, because right now we've got 1.2 million keywords and that's not where we wanna start. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna filter this down a little bit. I'm gonna select a lower difficulty. And this is basically a rating of how hard it is to rank. I'm gonna set the cap at 40 for now. This is lower than I would normally set. I'll probably set 60, but since T is a fairly competitive keyword, I'm going to go more aggressive and say only up to a difficulty of 40, so relatively easy keywords. And now we have everything with the word T in it with a difficulty below 40. And all we have to do now is we can just start taking them and copying them over to our spreadsheet. So we could say oolong tea, we could say chamomile tea, and as we're going and finding ones that look interesting, we're switching back and forth and adding them to our list. So oolong, what we need to know is it's the keyword is oolong tea, it has a difficulty of 26 and a volume of 65,000. So we would go back, we would do oolong tea, a volume of 65,000 and a difficulty of 26. Now we can keep going. We could say chamomile tea, so that's also 26 and 46,000. And you're essentially gonna keep going through and looking for keywords with the word T in them that could be worth writing about. Hibiscus T, right? This is another one. So with hibiscus, it's 22 and 39,000. Now, obviously you're probably getting the feeling that this way of doing it is fairly slow. There are two other options here. One is you can actually go ahead and export everything and look at it in Excel or drop everything into Google Sheets and then you can just copy and paste over the ones that you think are most relevant. The other option is as you're going through, you can check off all of the ones that you think you're gonna use. So we'll do oolong, chamomile, we'll do chai, hibiscus, rooibos, uh, turmeric tea. We can even go in here and do ginger tea, green tea extract is worth writing about, black tea, earl grey tea, and you would keep going through selecting all the ones that you want to add, and then we're going to add them to a list, right? I'll just call this Nats T site. And once we create that, 
what we can do is we can see my lists over here. It's not going to be there right now. We're going to have to refresh. And then we can go in there. This has all of the keywords. We can look at their metrics. And then we can just export this list and copy that all into our spreadsheet. This is probably the fastest way to do it. Uh, and this will aggregate all of the stats. It'll make it easier to check how you're ranking for all of them later. Uh, and it'll make sure that you're not missing anything as you're going and that you're not having to do a ton of typing. So what you should do is you basically go through and do this for each of the areas on your high level topics. So if we go back, we still have these other areas, right? So preparation, ceremonies, history. And what I would do is I would go in and I would say, okay, well, what else could we search for related to, let's say making tea, right? Because I bet there's gonna be searches kind of like how to make black tea, how to make green tea. And we're gonna to need to capture all of those as well. So again, we have to let this load. And now we've got this main keyword here, which is how to make tea. Now, I'm going to show you one other way that you can do some of this research. So if we click on how to make tea, we can see the difficulty and ranking potential for that. How to make tea is actually fairly low difficulty and very high volume. See, 8600 is very high and eight's pretty low. So this is actually a pretty valuable keyword to go after. If anybody's watching this who is making a tea site, well, you get this one for free. Uh, this would be a really good one to make content for. So first, I would make sure that I'm adding it to my tea site list. And then what I want to look at is all of the same terms for this one as well, right? So I'm going to go in here and look at it because I bet there's going to be a variation of this for each kind of tea. And sure enough, here we go, right? How to make ginger tea. We want that. How to make milk tea. How to make sun tea, Thai tea, matcha tea, weed tea. Why not? Right? Chai tea, Thai iced tea, green tea. All of these could be their own articles on how to make very specific types of tea based on their different steeping requirements and everything. So I go through, I'd find all of those, and there's a lot of them. It looks like, <laughs> okay, so there's 15,000, is that right? Yeah, there's a ton. So you don't have to go too far. Usually what I'll do is I'll filter for a volume of uh, at least 500, sometimes 1,000 if there's a lot more results. Let's see. Yeah, so if we filter from 500 above, that cuts us down to 67. And so we'd be able to go through all of them pretty quickly, right? So we could say ginger, bubble tea, milk tea, uh, Thai tea, matcha tea, weed tea, chai tea. You get the idea. And then we would add all of these to the list as well. You're going to keep doing this for all of your high-level topics. Uh, and as we can see already, I'm getting a ton of topics without even digging into health and wellness. And so at this point, I would probably cut that from my list. I'm not going to have to go into it because I'm going to have probably years of potential content just from this basic research. Because there's one last step you can do, which is you can do essentially a second step from your list. So if we go to my Nats T-Site list, and we say, here are all the keywords on it, and here's their metrics. Now, what I wanna know is, it looks like ginger tea, right? This is a relatively low difficulty one for the types of tea, it's got high volume, but I wanna go one level deeper on ginger tea. So I'm gonna click on it, and this is gonna give you the metrics for ginger tea, which I've already run, so they load a little bit faster. But I wanna know is, what else does ginger tea rank for? And this is different from the having same terms as you've done before. These results won't necessarily have ginger tea in them, but these are the search terms that ginger tea pages are also ranking for. And so you can see some related things here, right? Like health benefits of ginger, or just ginger benefits, ginger tea benefits. And all of these could be potential articles too. So obviously I want ginger tea benefits either in the ginger tea article or as its own article. We could also look at creating articles on some of these other topics here, like lemon ginger tea. That could be a good one. We could also actually just make an article on ginger for nausea, because if somebody's looking for that, they might be interested in our ginger tea recipe and eventually in buying the ginger tea that we're selling. And here, here's a really great example of finding something tangential, tea for an upset stomach. Now, ginger tea would be really good for an upset stomach, but there may be other teas helpful for an upset stomach that I could include in this article as well. This lets me tie together ideas from a bunch of different areas, and I found this just by digging into that ginger tea example. So I'd go through all of these topics. I'll probably filter it again by 500 volume or more. 
and then those would all get added to my list as well. And you keep doing this. And you can do this for <laughs> quite a while. I mean, as you'll find, basically any topic that you're finding here, you can go in this extra layer deep and see all the keywords it relates to. And you can keep making these associations and building these huge lists of keywords. Uh, you can make it as big as you want. Obviously, the more that you find, then the more options you're going to have for content to create. But I would recommend trying to get at least a couple hundred. Uh, I know that sounds like a lot, but that will give you a really big bank of content that you can create and it will help you figure out which ones are going to be the best to go after in the beginning. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause, I'm going to go and I'm going to find a whole bunch of other keywords and then we'll be able to come back for step two. For you, what you need to do is go through and figure out this keyword list for yourself. Uh, you've got pretty much everything from this video that you need to dig in and find these keywords. So go through, create your list, see what keywords you can find, and don't move on to the next video until you have at least 100, ideally 150 or 200. See you in the next video.